So story time about work. So this couple came in and they said they needed both front fender liners for their car, right? Okay, no big deal. And I asked them if they needed any of the hardware that goes with it because everything is sold separately. Um, they proceeded to tell me, yeah. And I asked, you know, out of pure curiosity, why do you need both front fender liners? The response was the dog tore them off. I paused, I looked at her, and I was like, girl, did you just say your dog ripped both your fender liners out of your car? She said, yes. Her husband looked at me and says, the dog did it. And I'm like, there's no way. I was like, is this one of those moments where the kid tells the teacher, my dog gave my homework, and they never believe you? So, of course, I'm Mr. Curious, and I have to see everything for myself. I walk out to this RAV4, it's a 2005 Toyota RAV4. This dog, Don ripped both of the fender liners out. And there are metal tabs that are on the fenders that bend in to help mount it. Those were all bent outward. This dog done destroyed their car. Needs to say $400 later, they can be putting their car back together. And I'm like, how do y'all know this dog ain't gonna do this again? Like, this dog has got it, like, down pat. If you piss him off, he gonna make you spend money. And I'm thinking, how big is this dog? Like, Beethoven, you know, like a really big dog. So looks at me and goes, German Shepherd. I'm like, I can see the aggression. I can see the, like, the eagerness to get to those things and rip them off. Kind of like the dog, you know, on the videos you see online, ripping the bumper off. But, like, the underliners are tucked up in there. There's a lot of hardware on these things. This dog done ripped them both out. And to this day, this minute, today, I am still flabbergasted on this. Like, seeing this and just in pure shock and just wondering how I would process that my dog ripped my fender liners off my car. I'd be making sure that dog was happy every day of his life. Give it treats, whatever. Because $400 just in parts, that is extremely expensive. So... Needless to say, I guess the moral of the story is, don't piss your dog off, because they will find a way. Mm -mm. I want to meet this dog. Hope y'all have a blessed Wednesday. And remember, don't piss your dog off.